Knowles News. It's Knowles News. That is not, <laughs> not healthy. How are you know? Not too bad. That music. I know who it is now. Who is it? That's the Kaiser Chefs. <laughs> <laughs> no. Remember them? Yeah, I do, yeah. The Kaiser Chiefs, no. Kaiser Chefs, yeah. They were cooking in a Russian restaurant. <laughs> oh I know you think, what's a Russian restaurant? A cabbage and a headbutt. But <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Chef's, chef special. Bacteria. Oh. No. no, the Russians, very clean. Yeah. Very clean people. Do you know what kills germs? Well. Alcohol. Yeah, it does. Yeah, their insides must be shining. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> Do you, talking about music, do you know Papa Roach? Papa Roach? Yeah. yeah. And do you know his wife, Nana Roach? <laughs> Nana Roach. Late, great Nana Roach. I heard they do a bit of music. <laughs> Papa Roach and Nana Roach. They used to do Thursdays in the Bridge Bear, back in the boom. We were talking about it. Did they? Yeah. Do you remember the boom? Oh, God. There were things done in Kilbrine. <laughs> <laughs> Did you own that in lavish or you know that? In um, I got a third dog. <laughs> <laughs> you wild man! We actually bought dog food for months. <laughs> <laughs> but um, geez, you, speaking of money, yeah, you must be down. Are all your shows off now, there? Eh? All the shows are cancelled. Yeah, no more conning people out of their money. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's not fair now. She was only talking about shows to uh, Dan the other day. Do you know who we saw in Connor one time? Who? Meatloaf. Meatloaf. That's a fact. Meatloaf played in Connacht down the castle. Oh my God! Ask your listeners now where they at it because we were there and he came out. He was so drunk that he pissed all over the front row. <laughs> <laughs> he did. That's a fact. Meatloaf. He, he pissed all over the front row. Oh my God! You couldn't do it now. No. <laughs> the corona and all that. You know, yeah, you well. social distance and you couldn't be pissing on lads. You know. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it. Then. Do you know what I mean? Like you wouldn't mind back then. It was all right. <laughs> What happened to you? I'm eating off pissed on me. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough, like. Do you know? But oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, we were talking about local television. Yes. How, how, how has the... It's progressing nicely. Lovely. The committee uh, moved on their next project. Lovely. They're doing a remake of The Avengers. <laughs> yes, Paddy Fong will play <laughs> The Incredible Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> Paddy Fong will play The Incredible Hulk. In uh, Thor will be played by the Bale Delaney. <laughs> and now they're going to get a shirt to fit him. Now. He's like a walking sandbag. This You've seen him. <laughs> yeah, he's a big man. He's yeah. like Mr. Tato going around the place. But Iron Man, of course, will be played by local welder Patsy Toothpaste. <laughs> <laughs> you know Patsy Toothpaste? The man, he having a tooth left in his skull. <laughs> he's living. He told me he can only eat scrambled egg and oranges. Oh, my God. He said it's an awful mix. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, he, I suppose him being a welder and scrap scrap metal, he'll be, he'll be playing Iron Man. Mm-hmm. And they're going to film it out in Donovan's. Well, oh, Donovan have the big shed. Yeah. There's some money going into that. Is there? Oh, Donovan, he have more money than, than the devil, that man. <laughs> <laughs> we went out to see it last week. Do you know, um, but with social distancing implied, I had to put Carmel in the trailer. Oh. <laughs> she was like Queen the Fair. <laughs> she liked Queen the Fair waving at people. Huh? We were having a good old crack. I started swerving then, you know. A bit. <laughs> and she fell out a couple of times, but. But uh, uh, would she not be allowed in Witcher, like? With nah, but she'll have to be seen to be doing the right thing, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it was a great crack. I was swerving. Now she fell out a couple of times, but sure. But sure, she got back in, didn't she? <laughs> oh, you want to see the new shed? It's nice, isn't oh, it? Oh, calves. I nearly moved in myself. <laughs> Dave, the place lovely. And then. I got called her to do a job for his neighbour, you know, Hannah Cahill. And uh, Hannah, a woman on her own there, she needed a weld on the horse box. And I said, Jeez, Hannah, you have a very unkept box. I said to her, no. <laughs> I said, I know you're on your own. There's no excuse for a messy box. <laughs> I said, what if you wanted to ride? You're going to ask a horse to get into that messy box? A dirty box? I said, look, you don't even wife in shite. She, she have a grand tidy box. <laughs> <laughs> she don't let just anyone in. <laughs> <laughs> Your missus of horses, uh, have she a box? Yeah, no. <laughs> have she a box? <laughs> she have a horse box, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a tidy box. <laughs> it's a grand box. Yeah. Would there be many horses in and out of it? Uh, <gasps> two. Two be enough now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's film anyway. Dan, Bra- Dan Bryan is going to do the soundtrack. Okay. 
Yeah, he's going for kind of a Willie Nelson vibe. <laughs> The Battle of Denzi Hogan. Well, Denzi, of course, would be one of the lesser known characters in the Avengers franchise. <laughs> Denzi Hogan. Hogan, yeah. Well, he's from Killarney, and his superpower is yarns, right? Okay. <laughs> so, honestly, Jesus, right? So, the bad guys might come along to be Magneto or one of these, right? Aliens are trying to burn down Killarney or one of the usual stuff, right? And he'd be like, Come here to me now, Magneto, I'll tell you a story. I knew a man, he had three hands and no arms, and he's married to a four foot nun. All their children were ginger, you know what I mean? Yeah. He, <laughs> He'd be telling old Kerry Yarn, then bang, Paddy Fong comes along in the Astro and cleans him out. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking milling the aliens out of it by the Astra. Ah, it's a good story, I can't wait to see it. Oh my god. Avengers 5, Fong saves Killarney. <laughs> <laughs> Only on Kill Brian Television. <laughs> no. So this week. Uh, I want to talk to you. Didn't a whole pile of news going on. Mm. So we were talking about names. And a lot of people were very interested that my father's name was Carlos. <laughs> and um, his father's name was Mick. Yeah. So I'm going to give you a bit of the Furlong family history. Okay, lovely. Yeah, great. So there were six generations before that called Pat. All good working men. <laughs> working back through the famine. They were working when the Normans were around. They were working in the Stone Age. They were working with the Celts. <laughs> Ancestors of mine built Newgrange. You know that? Did they? Yeah. Uh, cousin of mine, he done the plumbing. <laughs> <laughs> he never got paid though. He, he fell out with the Celts over. <laughs> Did he? Well, th- that was a different crowd. It was a Stone Age by his work on a Newgrange. <laughs> <laughs> but he fell out with the Celts over a different job. And my father always said it. The Celts, only a shower of bastards. <laughs> I were, I were like a lot of family history, you know that now. Yeah. There was an uncle of mine in the GPO on Easter Sunday, 1916. Wow. That's a fact. He, I remember him telling me, Patrick Pierce and Michael Collins came in the door, and they seen my Uncle Tom kicking the shit out of two security guards, and they said, that's the kind of man we want. <laughs> now, he was only trying to collect the pension. <laughs> 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 and they wouldn't give it to him because you have to be over 65, and he was clearly about 17. Yeah. <laughs> But he done his bit. <laughs> he done his bit for Ireland. He and the, the Brits sailed a battleship up the Liffey, you know, and they started bombing the place. But he fucked off. But he <laughs> said, <laughs> he said, I'll fight any man, but I won't fight a ship. <laughs> <laughs> and and I think they're words to live by. <laughs> he's, he's Do you know, sometimes we're all trying to fight a ship. He's really bang on there. You know, and there was another ancestor mine. He was great friends with St. Patrick. <laughs> God, this, it's going back a few years now. going back. I might be jumping back a bit, but look. He, he actually owned the field where St. Patrick was watching the sheep. Okay. Now, he did make him sleep in the field, <laughs> in the rain, in the snow, and he'd feed himself by foraging. But uh, they got on okay. Good. He must have liked it. He came back. Yeah, yeah, true. Uh, Cuchulain, of course, was a neighbor of uh, Gusty Furlong, another <laughs> relation of mine. <laughs> Gusty. And... In more recent times, my great-great-grandfather, Moses Furlong, <laughs> <laughs> very religious family, father was a bishop, he, <laughs> he was the great explorer, first Irishman at the Amazon. Wow. Yeah, now he said it was closed, he'd come home again. <laughs> <laughs> I think they were doing it up. No, <laughs> a bit of renovations. Yeah, they were doing up the Amazon at the time, but he said he, he, said he was there and here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you believe him? Oh, Jesus, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Never tell a lie. <laughs> Never tell a lie when you can sit. My grandfather Mick then, the great sportsman, touched by the hurl of God. He was the first player ever to lay it off. <laughs> he was our first <laughs> hurler ever in the history of the GEA <laughs> to level off. <laughs> now he never won it, <laughs> but he fair left it off. <laughs> and he was old school. He was traditional. Now he was playing a match one day, and <laughs> one of his teammates hand passed him the ball, and he got sick on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> And he died of a heart attack at the pure shock. Go away. He couldn't believe it. He died in the field. He, c- he said, why would you hand pass it? 
Don you could lever off. <laughs> it makes no sense. Lever off. Lever off. <laughs> and then I had an American cousin and he called over one time, cowboy furlong, right? <laughs> <laughs> Cow by far long, but he came in. He came in. He, he sauntered in and he had the big, the big boots in him, and he had the hat on him the whole lot. The Texas accent, you know what I mean? It turns out he was from Sligo. He was just <laughs> mental. <laughs> it was all big talk, typical Yank, you know. And he, he, oh, I couldn't wait for my first pint of Guinness. And he said he was going to drink me under the table. Hmm. I said that effect is it? <laughs> right. Off we sat, and I got the first round, and then he got the second round. And now, I went with him pint for pint all evening. But, you know, I mean, I was giving his a little shot of white spirits just to <laughs> <laughs> bit of, give it a bit of an old boost, you know? <laughs> bit of a boost. So he fell asleep at the bar, anyway, absolutely fucking poisoned. <laughs> My mother came in to collect this then. She said, what's wrong with the cowboy? I said, jet lag. <laughs> <laughs> he half a bottle of white spirits inside him, huh? <laughs> he could wash our paintbrushes in his shite, I'd say. <laughs> oh, my um, God. Another relative of mine of note would have been the great Paddy the Cement Man Furlong. Okay. He started the fire brigade in town. All right. A lot of people don't know that. <laughs> it was himself. There was himself, Mushy Dalton, Pope Patsy, Paddy, Paddy Ankles, Magpie Walsh, Tom the Digger, <laughs> Jesus Healy, Tommy the Bale Trailer, <laughs> Padder the Ladder, Lamp Williams, Gloves McGee, Saucepan Collins... <laughs> Mickey Shirts, <laughs> Footpet Nolan, oh, Connie Fortooth, Larry Combine, The Shovel Manan, Scania Doherty, Scania da. Dick the Trout, and you know your man that they call Dog Tablets, <laughs> and Michael Burke. <laughs> <laughs> but he left. He left, did he? Yeah. And, uh, you know, not all heroes wear capes. Yeah, that's true. But they should be remembered. Yeah. Fair play. Um... I'm not going to hang on much longer now. I actually, I'm, we're doing a Zoom call with the family. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm on. The, you know, my cousin in Kildare, Cricky helping. <laughs> Cricky is going to be on the on the Zoom. <laughs> Very good. But before I go, I have to mention. I I noticed your birthday during the week. Yeah. <laughs> I got you a no. present. No. I got you a present. Hang on, let me see this now. No. Now, Maureen. Maureen can't see, so you might describe to her what, what they were present. Yeah, so you've handed me a box with tinfoil on the top of it. Well, I couldn't <laughs> get wrapping paper. You're looking at me now, what? No, this better not be a bird. It's not a bird, no, you didn't. <laughs> okay, there. so it's, it's, it's um, tinfoil uh, on a box here. One second, on it. <laughs> and it's held together with... Uh, Just fucking rip it open, taste. will you? Jay's tin to pair of knickers, come on. <laughs> uh, it, bite it's you. very well put together, isn't it? Oh my god! <laughs> Open it up, will you? Open it up. I'm not touching it. Take it out of the box. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Oh, you'll have to come here. Have you, you'll have to open it. You'll have to. I'm not handling you'll that. You'll have to describe to Maureen it, what it is. It's a. It's a stuffed. Uh, is that a stuff? It is a store. <laughs> it's a oh, store. Really? I'm not, I'm not, I don't like that. Take it out and show the camera, will you? No, I don't like that touch. He, 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 God love him, he's dead. I know. <laughs> I don't want to touch him. Pick it up by the box and show the camera. <laughs> <laughs> it's a store. A stuffed store. <laughs> It's freaking me out. It's lovely. <laughs> do, do you want me asking? His name is Gilbert. <laughs> Where did you get that? Off Tommy Taxi. Uh, Tommy Taxi? Yeah, the taxi oh, right. It's it's. I, I just want to... Oh, my God. I, I show it to the camera. <laughs> now, isn't that the best present you ever got? Isn't he lovely? And nicely done now, in fairness to Tommy. <laughs> nicely done now. Lovely oh and clean, isn't God. he? I, I, I wonder how he died now. He's in such good nick. <laughs> What'll you do with it? 
<laughs> I'll, um, I don't know, I might put it in the local library or something. I feel like Jeez, you, couldn't, a, you couldn't give that away. I feel like it's a collector's item. I'm beginning to do, mate. Right? How are you, lad? It's very scary. I've never seen a stoat before. And that's the first time I've seen him, and it's stuck. So you don't be out and about in the bushes and the oh. trees and... Will you move it over to your side? I'll take it, put it up on top of your laptop there <laughs> and get it over. <laughs> up on top of the, man, the dashboard of the car, and that would be nice. <laughs> Thanks very much, Noel. It's a very thoughtful present, and yeah. I really appreciate it. What do you get me? Yeah, it was your birthday during the week, which I yeah. was amazed to know. Um, I have something for you. I'll have it for you next week. Come on. And at what age were you? <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. See you next week.